हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड फॉर प्लेसमेंट एंड इंटरव्यू एग्जाम लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन सो क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इफ बी डज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड ए अपॉन बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो देन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इनइक्वालिटी मस्ट बी ट्रू दैट मींस बी इज नॉट ग्रेटर देन जीरो मींस बी मे बी लेस देन जीरो और बी मे बी greater than 0 and again a upon b greater than equal than 0 that means a and b must have same sign if a and b both positive so a by b ratio will be greater than 0 and if a and b both negative then also a upon b will have, will be greater than or equal than 0 so if a and b both positive the product will be greater than 0 and a and b both negative then also product will be greater than 0 so our correct answer is what c now see the next question the second question is what find average find average of 1q 2q 3q up to 20q so you know average of average is what average equal to sum of all given observation divided by total number of observation when we apply this formula here it will take a lot of time because given observation is what 1q 2q 3q up to 20q so correct answer will be 1q plus 2q plus 3q up to the 20q and divided by 20 so it will take a lot of time so there is a simple technique to solve this question so let us see just like you know ki if there is a number 1q 2q 3q that is up to n q then average of this number will be what see so average equal to what last number multiply next number is square and divided by 4 so here last number that n is what that is 20 is given so we will use n here 20 so this is 20 multiply 21 into 21 And divided by what? Four. So this is four fives are twenty. Now you know five into four forty one. So this is five and the five, five four the twenty, and five four the twenty two twenty twenty two hundred five is the correct answer. So C option is the right answer. We can solve any question of this with the help of this technique. When there is a one q, two q, three q up to n q and maybe twenty, maybe ten, maybe fifty, maybe hundred. Here n is what twenty. So our correct answer is twenty two hundred five. Let us see the third question. That is the next question. So next question is what? So next question is also very important. So this question is if salary of a increase by twenty percent and again decrease by ten percent, then find the percentage increase or decrease in the salary. So for solving this type of question, we have a simple technique. You know, increase percent means what? Hundred plus given percent, and decrease means what? Hundred minus given percent. So suppose salary of a is what? Hundred. Now increase by twenty percent means one hundred twenty by hundred. Again decrease by ten percent, so hundred minus ten ninety. So this will be how much ninety by hundred. So this will be cancel out, and this two zero will be cancel out. So twelve nine zero what hundred eight. So you know initial salary was hundred. Now the salary is hundred eight. So how much more eight? So our right answer is. Eight percent increase. So this is the option B. Eight percent increase is the correct answer. So if our result less than hundred, there is a loss. If our result greater than hundred, then there is a profit that is the increase. So here eight percent increase. Now see the next question. So next question fourth is what? That is the missing. So what is the sense? Twenty five given. Then there is a sixty five. Then there is a six. Then there is a forty six. What number will be top? So for this type of question, no any formula, no any technique, only mind of puzzle. So you have to check what logic is going on. So here logic is what suppose this is twenty five. 
so when we assume this reverse that is become 52 so 52 it is 52 now when we add this number you see how many difference here so this is 52 and when this is 52 so and what is this this is the 56 so 52 plus 4 56 and this number become reverse 65 again 56 plus 4 is what 60 so reverse of this is what 6 again 60 plus 4 is what 64 so reverse is what 46 so again 64 plus 4 will be what 68 so reverse will be what 86 so our correct answer will be 86 again you see this is 25 so reverse of this number is what 52 when we add 52 plus 4 this is 56 reverse is 65 again 56 plus 4 is 60 reverse is what 6 60 plus 4 is 64 reverse is what 46 now 64 plus 4 is 68 reverse is what 80 so our correct answer is 86 so this was the question number 4 in this way we have solved all the four important questions for the placement interviews and other court exams also in the same way we will go for in this is the part 5 of placement and interview question so after that we will go for the part 6 and 7 also so thank you